Welcome back to the Tacomaholic channel, everybody. In this video, I'm gonna go over what you can expect your vinyl wrap to look like after three years of use and abuse. So let's dive right in. And this will be the final wrap video you will see for my truck because I plan on <laughs> yep, it's gonna be quite a project. All right, everybody, so I have had the wrap on the truck for, in a few months, it's gonna be about three years, so I'm just sort of rounding up because in a few months, it's gonna be middle of winter. It's gonna be nasty. I wanted to try to get like the best sunlight so you can see like the micro damage, cuts, scratches, stains, all that stuff on the vinyl wrap because one of the things I love about the, I think this is universal for like matte style wraps anyway, and mine is a matte orange if you did not know. They do a great job of hiding damage on the truck. And I'll start in the front and then just sort of head back. And as you can see right here, the hood looks great. I'm probably about five, six feet away right in front of the truck here. But as you get closer, obviously a problem area. So my head doesn't block the sun right there. Problem area right up front. And I'm not even really sure what's coming up on camera right there. It still looks pretty good on the screen on my GoPro. But this is obviously where most of the time I grab the hood to close it if it's been opened. And you can see some discoloration right here. And I've usually been pretty religious about like wiping this down with like degreasing wipes and stuff like that. But again, after three years, you're gonna get some, some of this stainage. Of course, lighter colors, this is gonna show up more. If you wrap your truck in like a black or a dark gray or whatever, or you know, some kind of like sand khaki color, obviously that's probably not gonna be an issue at all. Another thing, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, and just assume I don't know if anything's showing up on camera because it doesn't really look that bad right here, but I have a giant scratch going all the way back. This is actually from a branch. And, you know, just a little micro damage, obviously, in the front as when you're driving on the highway, stuff will hit and scratch. And, of course, believe it or not, I know many of you don't think I ever get off-road, but I do get off-road, I don't know, probably at least about once a month, so... There is plenty of natural pinstriping on the wrap, but like I mentioned, it does a great job of hiding it. Of course, I have the good armor there that's hiding that from the side, but my fenders right here, they are wrapped a little dirty right now. And this is satin black. And I can see the scratches, but it does a great job of actually hiding all that. Of course, much more so than the paint underneath would. Another weird area that I'm specifically having an issue with is right here sort of in between the nozzles now there was like there is definitely some like stainage from when i use my windshield spray nozzles and again i've tried to do a good job of cleaning that up but that's just going to happen i think when i was at my buddy's house we were doing like a bunch of grinding and cutting on the truck and it got like a fine layer of like metal dust shavings i guess and for some reason i mean when i got home i drove home i did a what i thought was a good job of like pressure washing it and getting all that off but for some reason I had like a crimson stain right here in this area, center of the hood between the nozzles. And it's gone now, it would not wipe off. I tried all kinds of stuff and I guess the sun bleached it off because now all I see is where it used to be. It's like a lighter color orange. I don't know if that's gonna show up right here versus like the darker matte orange right there. But So if you are like cutting on your truck and doing stuff like that, make sure you either blast that off with pressurized air or pressure wash it as soon as possible. And of course, if you are gonna wrap your truck, get a pressure washer, easiest way to clean it. You don't even have to dry it. It holds up remarkably well. And while we're up here, obviously talking about the roof, now I usually have a Plano box on each side and my the recovery boards mounted down the middle. I have those off again because I go to my buddy's house, his garage to get the truck worked on for fab stuff and with the Plano boxes it raises the height of the truck like another five six inches and would not fit in his garage so that's why those are off but the Plano boxes had been on there pretty much since I got the roof rack so they'd been at least a year and again I pressure wash under there but I haven't really been able to wipe it down and this was pretty much filthy if you can see under each bar it's still got some dirt stains I'm not too worried about it but all the stuff on top, it was just dirt and dust and stuff like that, even though it had been sitting on there. It came off very easy, just like rubbing that down with some suds, any microfiber, or like wash mitt, something like that. So if you guys don't have a roof rack, this would be super easy to take care of, but mine, not so much. And then coming around to the back, and of course it's in the shade, but another problem area is right here around your handle, obviously, just anywhere you're gonna be touching. So if you're gonna be like opening up the doors to your truck, make sure you're actually just grabbing the handle and not like 
palming the whole thing and then, you know, grabbing it like that. Just try to avoid touching the wrap whenever possible, like your disgusting finger oils and stuff like that. But got a little stainage up here. And again, I've wiped that down with like gre degreasing wipes and stuff like that. Here is a good shot in the sun. Probably the best I'm going to be able to show you guys of some darker natural pinstriping with some tree scratches all over. And as nasty as that might look, just think it's better to have it on here than on the paint underneath because the wrap, in addition to looking good whenever you decide on what color you're going to go with, that is obviously going to protect your paint like that. And as far as where the wrap actually terminates and like folds over an edge, like you can see right here, there's the black paint underneath. All of that has held up a lot better than I thought. I don't have any of it peeling up right here where it's like on the inside, of course. On the outside, I mean, that's pretty much going to be unavoidable, especially if like you live in an area where they salt the roads during winter. Just little stuff gets worked up in there and you can see just, it's just peeling up just a little, but again, this is three years old, not too bad. But if you have a Raptor truck and you do start noticing edges like this where the wrap ends and it just contacts another surface, you can get some of this stuff. It is called Mold and Hold. I think it only comes in this one color. It's sort of like a satin black. It's pretty much just a special tape you do overlapping all the seams like this half on the wrap and then half on usually like the painted surface just to keep that folded down i actually use some under the hood i will show you real quick just since stuff's always getting kicked up under there and you can see it right here i mean it's here but it's black it sort of blends in nicely it's this right here paint the molding hold tape right there and then of course the edge of the wrap just to hold that down since when the wrap is going over one, an edge like this, the sharper the angle, the more, I guess, tension is going to be on there, if, especially if it's done incorrectly. So if you get your truck wrapped and it's starting to peel relatively soon, that's usually a sign that like you took it to a bad place. But I'll show you this over here too. Same tape right here down the side, if you guys can see that. But that stuff's definitely good. I think it's like 10 bucks. I will put a link for it in the description below if you want to check it out. And that will just about do it for this video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let me know, comment below, if you plan on like getting your truck wrapped in the future. And don't forget to stay tuned for that project I mentioned earlier. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.